guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I want to take you guys on a dangerous journey with me. Dangerous journey. I'm going to declutter and reorganize my vanity. I am back in my vanity, back in my room for getting ready. My son is officially in his own bedroom, which is heartbreaking, but at the same time really exciting because I can actually, like our room has been a disaster for the last five months because he's been napping in here and I can't really clean while he's napping. I'm not a huge cleaner, but I do have a standard. Anyways, so I have been wanting to declutter and reorganize my vani vanity so much. But I haven't been able to. So, I'm going to take you guys along in this journey with me, starting with my bottom right drawer here. So, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pan my vanity for you. So, you can... I can throw stuff out of the way. Hold on. I just showed my clothing haul, so I have clothes all around now. But my room was is clean. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and like pan my vanity for you so you can see what a disaster it is and also what it looks like so you can kind of get a feel for like where we're at on the vanity. Sorry if I make you feel sick or if I'm a little crazy with the panning. Um, I don't have a tripod, so just pop peppermint or something so you don't feel nauseous. Okay, so let's do this. So here is my vanity. So I've got, let's just, I guess, zoom out the rest of the way. So that's my vanity. Yep, that's that. Yeah, that's right. My ring light hangs from a string. And my camera goes on a cereal box. That's a uh, margarita there. Uh, okay, so there's all that good stuff. And this is the drawer we're going to go in first. Oh, that real marriage book right there. Fantastic. Love it. Love that book. Super, super helpful. Okay. Anyways, guys, that's the drawer we're going to start with. See that there? That has been like that since we moved in this house a year and a half ago. I have not done anything with that. So that's where we're going to head into today. So I'm going to plop you guys right here. To be propped up at least a little bit, you can kind of see into the drawer, and hopefully I'll hold it up enough for you guys. Okay, so I have... First off, individual lashes in here. I don't know why I threw these in here. They're supposed to be for my kit. I haven't needed them, obviously. I just do the strip lashes because they're a lot easier and usually we're kind of rushed at the end. Um, and I've actually never done in individuals. So what I need to do is I need to practice and I need to practice on myself as well. So I really do, I need to put those up with my lashes. Um, okay, so this is a little jewelry baggy thing that I, I uh, bring with me. So this I'm keeping and I'm putting over there because I put my jewelry or my um, bags over there. And again, another little travel bag. I have my like ponytails and bobby pins in here. I might actually take those out and put those in something else so then this can be free. My husband got me this beautiful little plate thing for me to put stuff in and I haven't because I haven't had room in my vanity to put it anywhere. These are like little sticky, so things don't slide around that I've never used, so I don't need those. Okay, let's dive into this. Okay. So this headband, I have a lot of headbands and like necklaces and stuff, so this isn't a ton of makeup that I'll be decluttering in this drawer, slash no makeup I'll be decluttering in this drawer. Anyways, this headband... I have not worn this in years, however, I really don't want to get rid of it. This headband. This is the head headband I was wearing when my husband proposed to me. So, I haven't worn it in years. I don't know. I'm going to keep it, I think, at least for now. Maybe flower headbands will come back, hopefully. Um, I'm going to toss out this headband because I don't wear it. Toss out this headband because I don't wear it. I always think to myself, oh, I might wear a headband, but they're just totally not in anymore. I'm going to pass them. If I wear a headband, it's to keep my hair back, let's be honest. Okay, this needs to go in the bathroom. It's part of my hair dryer, which I used to use this aspect a lot in my hair dryer. But I haven't, because I don't really blow dry my hair very much anymore, honestly, you guys. Like, I'm talking once or twice a year, maybe. 
maybe. I think since my daughter's been born, so three years, I've used it maybe, maybe five times. I'd feel safe saying five times. Maybe, like, it's too much. Anyways, but I'm, I'm going to keep it just in case I need that. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and keep this headband. I'm going to toss it, though. I have a little basket in my closet. This is a decent one for keeping my hair back. It kind of moves a lot, so it's not my favorite. But I, since I work out, I lose headbands a lot. And so it'd be nice to, because, you know, I just get so intense. All right, so this is a parlor by Jeff Chase Dane sea salt spray, moisturizing sea salt spray. I'm just going to toss this. Oh, and I missed. Got that in a birch box, and I've used it like twice, so. Whatever. This is a cute, I mean, I think I will go ahead and keep this headband. It's a cute, simple one that I like. Um, oh, cute little flower. Actually, I'm going to keep this, probably give it to my daughter. She would love this. It's got, like, glitter on it. Super cute little white flower. She would love that, so I'm going to give that to Emma Lynn. Have I told you guys my daughter's name? My daughter's name is Emma Lynn. Isn't that beautiful? I know. I know. No, it's a good story with that name, but maybe I'll share sometime. Um, yeah, another simple headband. I'm going to toss that one. Okay, this one. Oh my goodness. I used to wear this so much. I loved this headband, but I haven't worn it in years. And I don't think I will wear it, so I'm going to toss it. Um... This I'm going to go ahead and toss. The button broke within like 2.20 seconds. It like is by a string or whatever, but I have a couple other ones that work better now, and I just buy a better quality one. I think this one was from Claire's or something. Which Claire's is usually fine, but you also don't expect like great, great uh, quality. Um, just, just a hair clip to hold the hair, hair back. A nice black barrette. Okay. These things are never, like, thick enough to hold my hair back. Like, I always need to have some reinforcement in there. I like this. I like having some sort of plain one. I, like, never wear it, but I also feel like I'll eventually get to a point in my life where it's like, oh, I wish I had a black barrette for this outfit or something. I don't know. Who knows, you guys? Who knows? Ooh, hair thing. Ooh, and one of these. These are not my favorite. They work okay, but they always... My hair never stays in them. I just, I have so much hair, hair, you guys. Like, seriously. So, like, the hair I have is not ridiculously thick. Like, I have, you know, standard thickness hair. However, I have a ton of it. So, and right now I am shedding, like, a freaking German Shepherd. Because, you know, postpartum. Alright, so I'm just kind of digging out some clear ponies and some bobby pins. You know, we're not throwing those out because those things are gold. Um, I have this round hairbrush. It's disgusting. I'm not going to toss it, but I'm going to throw it in the bathroom. Um, I have an old, ooh, two pairs of glasses here in this case. I know it's silly, but I do like to keep my old glasses just in case I lose a current pair or want to mix it up. So I probably will leave this and leave it in here. Another part to my hair dryer, which will go in the bathroom. Okay. This is going to be tossed. This I bought to maybe, like, make my own, um, flower thing with a clip, but never did. Empty satchel. The one my daughter sees. She likes to keep all of those. Another hair clippy thing I'm going to keep. Uh, this I got for... Did I buy this, or did Sheree give these to us? I think I bought it. My cousin Cherie, she actually has a YouTube channel, Funeral for My Fat. She's really big on Tumblr and Instagram. Um, again, Funeral for My Fat. I did a review on her book as well. I'll link that below. Anyways, I was a bridesmaid for her, and I th think I must have bought this for her wedding. Yeah, to wear for her wedding. And I just, I really love this bracelet. I don't wear it often. I just don't wear bracelets often, but I really love it, and I really want to wear it more. To match with that, this is the necklace I bought to go with it. Again, I really love this. I know jewelry like this isn't really in style anymore. This I bought in Mexico uh, for a missions trip, but I haven't worn this in forever. My husband really likes it. I don't think I'll wear it ever again. I don't know. I'm not ready to part with that yet. More clear elastics. I'm just going to clear out here. 
Alright, so I got a couple of hair, like, sticky thingies. I'm going to get rid of these. Okay, more hair ponies. Black headband, workout headband. Definitely going to keep that. This... Oh, I, okay, honestly, this brings me back to college. <laughs> is that sad or what? This totally brings me back to college. The part with eggs is totally disgusting, but I loved that necklace. As y'all know, can't get rid of those. I am going to keep this. I do really like this. It's a little silver headband. Sparkly, kind of fun for, like, my husband's company's Christmas party. Um, okay. Got the cheapo bead necklaces. I think this was actually for my friend's special F party. They're Seahawks beads, so that is why I have not gotten rid of them, and I guess I probably won't get rid of them because we'll probably wear them again this season. So I just need to find a better place to store those. This necklace, how pretty is this? My husband, he's so sweet. So my husband got me this necklace for our four-year anniversary, and he's so proud of it. He bought it in Arizona, and originally he said it was like $500 necklace, and he got it for, I think he said like... 30 40 50 dollars because the company was going out of business or moving locations or whatever so anyways i've worn this a handful of times really pretty necklace and i definitely need to find a better place to store it um oh my puka shell necklace from hawaii but i'm gonna toss it from a pearl necklace i think i will keep it i spent a long time looking for a big pearl necklace like that i don't really want to just get rid of it um just in case i want to wear something like that 